Number one, can you represent either of the functions in the example problem with an equation? Yes. You can represent table A. You write the equation by finding the rate of change. 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12, 12 to 15. You're going up 3 each time. To go 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5, you're going up 1. Your rate of change is $3 per hour. So your equation would be y equals 3x. Number two, suppose you reverse the inputs and outputs in table B. Would the relationship be a function? Explain. So if I switched them around, that means it'd be 4 and then 3.25 and then 2 and then 2 and 1.75. It would not be a function because 2 would be used twice. Number three, the table shows the number of concert tickets sold by five students. Is the relationship a function? Explain. Yes, because none of the input values repeat. Number four. On the blank graph to the right, add a title and then label the number and the axes. Then plot the ordered pairs. So I'm going to title it um, Blueberries. My axes are going to be servings. And I label it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the other side is going to be Calories. And I'm going to count that by 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. Then I plot the points. 1 and 21, 2 and 42, 3 and 63. That's going to go off the graph. That's okay. 4 and 84, again off the graph, that's okay. 5 and 105, off the graph, that's okay. When you connect the dots, you have a graph. It is a function. Because none of the input values repeat. Number six, substitute values into the equation y equals x minus 3 to complete the table. Then state whether the equation represents a function. Explain your reasoning. So I'm going to plug in each of my numbers. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1. It is a function because the input values are only used once. Number seven, complete the table to show a relationship that is a function that you haven't used yet. Be sure that you can represent your function with an equation. So if you look, each of the input values is only used once, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my numbers. You can choose any numbers, but I'm going to go ahead and make my numbers be uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. It asks you to find the rate of change. That's what it means when it says describe the relationship between the input and output values. So my input and my output are related. My output value is five times my input. If I was to solve the rate of change, I would count by fives, five, 10, 15, and 20. I'm going by plus five. And then one, two, three, four, five. I'm going up by one. So my, in, my rate of change is five over one, which is five. I'm five times my input value. 
the equation would be y equals 5x.